Well, hello. All right. In this video, we're going to be going over standard 5A, which is describing the stages of the cell cycle, aka the phases. All right. Cell cycle. This is the life cycle of a cell. Okay. We need the cell cycle um, in order to grow and repair all of that stuff. So we're going to fill in this nice little pie chart. We have G1, S phase, and G2. All of that is part of interphase. Interphase is G1, S, G2. Fun fact, G stands for growth in this case. G can also sound, stand for gap. Don't ask me why, that doesn't make as much sense. But G1 is growth one or the gap one phase. Growth two is growth two or gap two phase. And these basically, in G1, the cell is performing its like regular functions um, going on about its life, do to do. do. Um, the S phase is when DNA replicates. Okay, remember when DNA replicates, if I have a strand of DNA that's like A, T, G, C, and I want to make another copy of DNA that's like A to T, T to A, G to C, C to G. I just replicated DNA, congratulations to me. In G2, this is when I'm like replicating, it's growing, um, it's replicating organelles. So interphase, I'm going about my business, then I'm starting to replicate DNA, and then I'm starting to replicate all of my organelles. Why? Because I'm making two copies of everything, because in this phase, in this phase, which is called the M phase, I'm going through mitosis and cytokinesis. I'm going to divide my cell. Notice here I'm starting with one cell, by the end I end with two. Mitosis is made of four phases, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. That is mitosis. This whole thing is called the M phase. After telophase, I go into cytokinesis. And that's the final part of division. I want to be clear. The M phase is about dividing the cell. Mitosis divides the nucleus and everything in it, so like the DNA. Cytokinesis divides the cytoplasm, which is that slimy stuff that all the organelles sit in. Wow, it does not divide cytokinesis, it divides the cytoplasm. Wow. Can't talk and write. Okay. Let's look down here. Not yet. Okay. We know about 90% of the time that a cell spends is in interphase. This whole cycle takes, give or take, about 24 hours. That means that like 23 out of the 24 hours, the cell is in enter interphase, which is crazy. If we look down here, now we can look down here. We have four phases. This is just for mitosis, okay? Mitosis, PMAT, this is when I divide the nucleus. Okay, review. Prophase. Prophase is when the nucleus disappears and I can see what's inside, which is the DNA. The DNA normally looks like spaghetti. Part of prophase's job is to condense it so I can like move it a lot easier. Um, Metaphase is when chromosomes are in the middle. And then anaphase is when my chromosomes separate onto opposite ends of the cell. Telophase is now when I see two distinct nuclei. So when these chromosomes separate to opposite ends, basically in telophase, my nucleus like surrounds each of these. This is like I'm almost, almost dividing into two cells. So before mitosis was interphase, that was the G1, S, and G2. And then afterward was cytokinesis. 
and that's when I finally get my two cells because my cytoplasm has divided. In interphase, my cell just literally looks like that. Um, if you remember the really dorky hand gestures, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can do this. Okay. Wow, that looks so strange. Okay, this was interphase. Okay, I can't really see anything. This was prophase. My fingers represent the chromosomes that are made of DNA. That's the first phase of mitosis. Prophase. After it's metaphase, my chromosomes are in the middle. Afterward, that's anaphase. My chromosomes separate. Next is telophase. I see two new nuclei. And then cytokinesis is the push and my cytoplasm divides and I have two completely new cells. And that was our review of the cell cycle. Super cool, we needed to like live and breathe and survive. Like if you get a cut on your hand, your cell has to go through mitosis to make more skin cells so that you can repair that cut. Just an example, but our body is doing this constantly. Like our cheek cells literally are new like every three hours we have new cheek cells like inner cheek cells. Craziness. Craziness. Madness. Anyway, I hope that helps and you can get started on your practice questions. Have fun.